What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com. Next time you guys want to buy your coins and make your team even better, go to the website and type the code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase. Also, if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go to the same website under the Self Foot 23 coin section. Yo YouTube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel yeah boys and today I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the top 10 best goalkeepers of FIFA 23 ultimate team I usually drop this video only once a year every FIFA um, I usually also wait until midway to the game the game's uh, cycle because so I can wait for a lot of goalkeepers to be released because obviously for the most part there's only like two or three goalkeepers that I find that I rate very, very highly and are consistent for the most people because goalkeepers tend to be random for a lot of people. Some people don't don't like one goalkeeper and then another person will prefer that goalkeeper. So it's all about personal preference. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys feel like I missed out on a goalkeeper and who is your favorite goalkeeper that you've experienced in FIFA 23. Obviously, this is just going by off of who I've used and who I've went against this year who I think is really, really, really good. Obviously, this is just my personal opinion, so that's why I'm asking you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. With that being said, let's get into the first honorable mention. Our first honorable mention is going to be Winter Wildcard to Budland 6'5 right foot, double five star in the skill moves and weak foot, 87 diving, 88 handling, 80 kicking, 88 reflexes, 80 speed, 90 positioning. The reasoning uh, I put him on this list is because he has height and he has five star weak foot, so you can pass out the back with either foot, which is obviously pretty cru crucial for a goalkeeper in this year's cycle because there's times you're going to be getting pressed and you want to be able to play out the back with either foot so that's why i got him on the list second honorable mention is going to be meslier 6-5 left foot one star skim with three star weak foot 90 diving 89 of handling 84 kicking 92 reflexes 85 positioning he has the goalkeeper long throw he has the comfort crosses trait and he has the saves with feet trait so pretty good pretty good links as well i don't think you can go wrong with this goalkeeper i've used him he's pretty solid obviously isn't anything spectacular but he doesn't make that many errors so i do like that a lot from him now coming at number 10 is going to be 84 rated team of the week lafont 65 right foot three star weak foot 88 diving 82 handling 72 kicking 90 reflex 85 positioning he has the rushes out of goal trait and the saves with feet trait overall very solid goalkeeper i heard a lot of people talking about this card during team of the year a lot of people were using him um obviously with the player trades as well makes him much more usable decent links as well and he's 65 you guys know i love tall goalkeepers so can't go wrong with that now command number nine is going to be 92 rated prime petter schmeichel 64 right foot three star skill moves excuse me three star weak but 92 diving 87 handling 88 kicking 94 reflexes 90 positioning no trades in game um this is a goalkeeper that i've went against a couple times he does he does pretty good um, I've never used him. Uh, I've seen some pros use them in some events and he actually does pretty good You know a lot of people rate Schmeichel. Um, I don't rate him that highly. He's solid. He's definitely solid But I don't know this year I haven't used him I think he should be on the clear side because you know, he has decent stats. He's an icon. He's pretty tall 6'4", you know you can't go wrong with him based on the experiences that I've had going against him. He does make some pretty nice saves. Now, coming at number eight is going to be Team of the Week 89 rated Donnarumma. 6'5", right foot, three-star, weak foot, 91 diving, 84 handling, 81 kicking, 90 reflexes, 86 positioning, has the rushes out of goal trait, and it comes for crosses trait. Now, this is a goalkeeper where a lot of people are either hit or miss. They either like him a lot or they think he's absolutely garbage. Personally, for me, I think he's pretty solid. I don't think he's obviously top tier. I think he's one of the few goalkeepers that are better from the worst. Obviously, the one that makes the least amount of mistakes. And obviously, the combination with him with the height, with his player traits, and decent links as well. Links to Sergio Ramos, Mbappe, and Messi. I think he's a pretty good option, in my opinion. Now, coming number seven is going to be that showdown SBC Nick Pope. 6'6", six, six, right foot, three-star, weak foot, 88 diving, 89 handling, 83 kicking, 90 reflexes, 88 positioning. He has the rushes out of goal trait. Comes for crosses trait and the saves with feet trait. So overall, pretty good links as well with Premier League, Newcastle, and England. Obviously, everybody loved Nick Pope and FIFA 21 and FIFA 22. He's obviously not as good this year as he was last year. I still rate him. Um, when I had him in the team, he does have some pretty good saves. Whenever you, 
if you're good with your goalkeeper movement he comes out really clutch with that height so i do like that a lot and he's 6'6 with those pretty good stats and obviously with the player trade so very very good goalkeeper in my opinion now coming number six is actually going to be somebody that's a very very surprising in this list it's going to be david de gea six foot three star weak foot 88 diving 80 handling 76 defending 89 reflexes 84 positioning he has the saves with feet trade and the cautious with crosses trade but that trade you can tweak out in the, um, your custom tactics by just putting the goalkeeper to come out there and crosses now i know this is a gold card at this stage of the game surprisingly i actually like this card a lot before i started using before team of the year promo and up to the team of the year promo i was using the hail for most of the year and he was very very good for me i mean typical like fifa 18 the hair type shit you know and obviously you know you guys let me know in the comments section below if you guys have used the hair if you guys like him i mean he has some pretty good stats he has the traits decent links as well just off my experience I do like this card a lot at the back of the net. Now, coming number five is going to be somebody that we're going to show some love that is not exactly not that tall, but it's going to be Lev Yashin, 6'2", right foot, three-star, weak foot, 95 diving, 89 handling, 75 kicking, 96 reflexes, 95 positioning, no traits in-game. Yashin, for me and FIFA, he's either a hit or miss. The prime version, I don't rate the base or the mid version, but the prime tends to be very solid along with the moments obviously with the prime obviously you know he has the hat everybody loves yashin with the hat you know it just looks absolutely sick in game personally for me i've went against this card a lot of times this is very hard to score on him and it kind of makes sense because he has very high stats when it comes to the reflexes the diving and the handling and his positioning as well he has really good positioning compensates for him being only 6-2 in net so I think this is a very good option. You guys let me know what you guys think about Yashin this year. Number four is going to be 90 rated team of the year. Honorable mentions, Emilio Martinez, 6'5 right foot, four star weak foot. So you know he can play out the bat with either foot. 91 diving, 89 handling, 88 kicking, 91 reflexes, 89 positioning. Comes for crosses, goalkeeper long throw as well. So a very good card. Decent links as well with Argentina and Prem. Um, I've seen a couple people on my stream talking about this card being a very good um, goalkeeper. Um, I've went against him a couple times. He actually makes some really good saves. You know, I've never used him, and I probably would buy him. Obviously, because I like Martinez IRL. I like how he kind of taunts the player before he, he takes the penalty. I like that from goalkeepers. But strictly about FIFA, he's actually a pretty good goalkeeper, in my opinion. And he has the height as well to prove it now i think coming from top three especially top two i think it's not debatable or at least it's one of the most consistent goalkeepers to make the least amount of errors you guys let me know in the comment section below but number three is going to be team of the year 96 rated tebow courtois 66 left foot three star weak foot 90 diving 95 handling 85 kicking 97 reflexes 95 positioning goalkeeper long throw and comes for crosses so i like this gold version a lot I tried his team of the year alone a couple times. I went against him. And for me, just only very, very good experience from the card. Obviously, with the combination of his height, he just covers most of the net. So I do like him a lot. I do think he's a very solid goalkeeper. Coming number two is going to be 91 rated prime Petr Cech, 6'5, three star weak foot, 89 diving, 88 handling, 80 kicking, 91 reflexes, 92 positioning. Goalkeeper long throw, cautious with crosses. But like I said before, you can change that in the custom tactics. Um, this guy I absolutely loved in FIFA 21. He carried me when I was competing in EA events. I used him this year as well. Still a solid goalkeeper. Not as good as the person as number one though. But he's still a very solid goalkeeper. I've had good experiences with this card and the World Cup version as well. So you guys let me know with that SPC that EA dropped last month. If you guys like, check. But coming number one, I think in my opinion, is not really debatable or it's the most... It's the one that makes the most sense. You guys let me know. It's Team of the Year icon, Edwin Van Der Sar, 92 rated. It can be this, the prime or the mid version. 6'6", six, six, right foot, 3-star weak foot, 87 diving, 91 handling, 85 kicking, 90 reflexes, 96 positioning. He has comes for crosses and goalkeeper long throw. Just Van Der Sar doing Van Der Sar things. There's a reason why the majority of pros use him. I'm sure you guys have went against this car a lot of times. Absolutely very OP in the back of the net. It's very hard to come, excuse me, it's very hard to score a goal against them. There are times when I'm just attacking properly. I can't score a goal because this guy is bailing out my opponent. And it's very, very frustrating, but in my opinion, the best goalkeeper in FIFA 23. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below if I missed out on somebody. If you guys think 
there's some people that shouldn't be on this list. And who is your favorite goalkeeper? Obviously, in FIFA 23. That's the more important part. Let's see if we get some common ground. And what's, you know, I think Van der Star number one is justifiable. But once again, you guys let me know. Uh, the next video we'll be dropping will be a player review from the new promo footballers. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. It's been your boy Dan FIFA. And I'm out. Bye-bye.